That's got to be one of the worst things I've ever seen down here. Hello and welcome to a video in Niagara. I've not been to Niagara for quite a while, so I thought I'd come down here. We've got the family down with me. Uh, one of the, my family members from the UK. So I thought, you know what, we'll come down, check out Niagara Falls, Clifton Hill, walk down to the falls and check out the fireworks tonight. So we're just making our way over to Clifton Hill. Now, last time I came down here was probably May 2021. When we were just in the middle of that, what, second to last lockdown. And most of the places were closed. So it's, uh, gonna be good. it's the first time I've had a good walk around since then. So it's going to be good to see what's open, if anything's changed. Uh, last time I came down here, the only thing I noticed that had changed was the Guinness Book of Records place had gone. So anyway, we're making our way over to Clifton Hill and uh, have a look around Niagara Falls. <laughs> bargain world, Niagara Falls, bargain t-shirts, bargain souvenirs. All look crap, really. Most of these stores at this end of uh, Clifton Hill um, sell the same stuff over and over again, just like most uh, tourist towns would. Uh, but as we get closer, we start to see more stuff like this. Uh, two swords, Louis two swords. Oh my god. <laughs> that looks really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Biden! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's meant to be uh, Sleepy Joe. Mm, Drake's lost some weight over there by the looks of it. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty. <laughs> Is there another wax museum? Oof. That was a bad one. Uh. Oh, the works. Now, I went to one of those places in St. Catharines that works, and it actually was a good burger place. Now, here you have it, the world famous, our Canadian famous, Clifton Hill. It's all on a hill, and that is basically it. Quite a few people around. It's uh, Tuesday evening, uh, just approaching eight o'clock, and uh, yeah, it's quite a lot of people around. For a, but yesterday was a holiday weekend, and it was packed. Uh, traffic was chaos. I didn't realize there's a roller coaster up there. All right, just give you some facts about Niagara Falls as we walk down Clifton Hill and show you some of the things. Uh, annually. Um, Niagara Falls and Clifton Hill attracts around about 13 million visitors a year. Um, those figures are based on, of course, the years pre-COVID, so let's say 2019 and before. So, um, and they spend about $2.4 billion here in the Niagara region. Uh, tourism in the Niagara area em employs basically a lot of people. Over 40,000 people are employed in tourism based uh, jobs in the region a lot of them being in this area 40,000 people that's a lot oh my god that's some good karaoke listen to this all right that's really bad <laughs> where is that guy i want to find him Oh, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> that is just bad. Some great Canadian karaoke for you there. So this was Madame Two Snow uh, Guinness Book of Records. This was no, Guinness. No, it's here. Used to be right in this archway, right here. That was that'd be the Guinness area. 
I could have sworn No, it was down here. It was right here. This was it. They the sign. They're taking the sign off. That would have been the sign for it. So this is where Guinness World Records would have been. Uh, now gone and just a bit of advertisement on it. And a blank sign. Hey, Clifton Hill's not that big. It's literally a couple hundred meters and you're out of it. It's just a load of tacky stuff in a short distance. For some reason, people are attracted to it. Now, one thing it gets you is you walk just away from there. You can just start to smell the water with the breeze that's blowing up from the river. You can just start to smell it. There is a little odor uh, from the uh, river, like a musk, as it goes over. You can actually just smell it in the air slightly once you get away from all this sweet candy stuff. Oh yeah, $10 for a, a, a regular ice cream. $8 for a, a small ice cream, $8. Holy moly. $8 for an ice cream. <laughs> hey, we got like ages for fireworks. We got like two hours nearly. <laughs> we got ages. Why don't we cross this way? Yeah, and, and go up a bit. <laughs> All right, we walked down one way, and now we're going back up the other way to see virtually the same stuff. But hey, that's what tourists do, so we're gonna go with the flow of the tourist. I think we're going back that way later to see the fireworks towards the falls, but we've got ages yet, over like an hour and a half. Now, of course, at weekends, this place would be packed this road is packed, boy racers galore, revving up their engines, sending the horns, backfiring. So it's kind of nice being here on a Tuesday night and you don't quite get that yet. Oh my God. <laughs> the big waff of the smell of dirty urine just came right over me. It was like, that was pretty rank. Yeah. Oh, what do you smell around here? Oh, pee pee. Pee pee. <laughs> the Midway. It's what a lot of people come down here for as well on Clifton Hill. They used to come and blow a load of money in a place like this. Cotton candy, popcorn, snow cones. Oh my God, the prices are just unbelievable. Five bucks for a snow cone. Actually, this place is cheaper than the other ice cream place. Five bucks for a regular cone. I went on that uh, about three years ago. Uh, Tegan took me on it. It was winter, I'd never been on it before, so she took me on it and it started snowing, I had a view of virtually nothing and the windows condensed over because we were so cold and it was so warm in there. <laughs> so it's kind of like a waste of money. But today's a great day to get on it because it's clear. I thought he was urinating then, <laughs> he's wasted up. Check him out. I think Elvis just sick to being dead. <laughs> Gee, that was really cheesy and creepy at the same time. Oh. That's got to be one of the worst things I've ever seen down here. <laughs> I thought he was like a statue at first, but he, he's not even, he's, he can't keep still. <laughs> I don't know what he does, he's just a gold painted Elvis that throws neck 
two dollars for you to, to throw a bead at you. <laughs> Man, he throws three necklaces, he's already making minimum. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's making a shitload of money there. Mommy, I want to throw an extra I don't know, look at this. Perfect night for it right now. $15 for an adult, $7 for a child to get on the big wheel there. We're gonna make our way up to the speedway. Mountains. We know what their prices are like in there. Some guy just making his way down the uh, scaffold in. Now he's going back up. Carnival Chaos is opening soon, whether that is. It's a hyper ride. I don't really say what it is. So basically that is it. We just walked up and down Clifton Hill very quickly and uh, you saw everything. And that's really it. We kind of, we just started just around the corner from there. But yeah, the lineup for that. Right, you've heard of 3D, 4D, how about 6D? 6D, that is like serious, like, Wow, I mean, do you smell it? Do you get wet? I mean, is it like full on? It's like a really big bra. Yeah, 6D, that's a big bra. <laughs> the 6D adventure ride, zombie attack. Um, but I think it's a stationary ride by looking at the pictures. Looks like a theater you're in. But anyway, you're gonna go in there, it's $9. And I got a feeling you have to add tax to that. Like everything else. Anyway, in the meantime, here comes all the little carts coming around in corners, coming around the speedway. So most of the stuff, all the better stuff, is probably in this area right here. Uh, this, this section of Victoria Avenue, and then just down there on Clifton Hill. But let's see, once you get up there, uh, I think the keg's up there. It's probably the only one good thing up there. And then it just dies right off. Oh, also, just in this little section here, there is uh, a few restaurants. Chinese, I can see a steakhouse, and bar and grill, and a very expensive Starbucks. Um, yeah, very overinflated prices in there. I guess when you're out of time, you don't mind paying this stuff, but when you live in the Niagara region, it's like, eh, no thanks. Just at the back of the Sheraton here. Uh, we'll probably see the front of it shortly when we go down to the uh, waterfront and see, uh, ready, get ready for the fireworks. I've not been in there for a while, a water park. When the kids were younger, I went to the water park a few times. But it'd be a bit weird for me to go to a water park now as a grown up man with no kids. So, not a sort of place I can go. <coughs> but it was fun, I did enjoy going there. Now, parking is pretty expensive in Niagara Falls. If you're right down at uh, Table Rock, it's about $30 to park down there. Most of these parking spots around here are like $20. Uh, we've paid $10 and we're just here by Applebee's. But it's only limited parking space and it is evening so we've got a bit, we've got a, we've got parking no problem and if you go further out just a little bit further of a walk you can get parking for five dollars but the further you go the sketchier it gets and the cheaper it gets all right we're at nightmares and they're trying to get me in there and i said i don't like scary things and they're going oh no it's not as scary come on don't be a chicken okay why does it say 160,000 people have chickened out lies. Lies. must be lies i don't do haunted things I'll stay here. You go in with them. I want you to come too, though. No, I don't like scary things. Can I go put this stuff in the car then if we're going to go in? Are you guys not going? I'm going to be a chicken. I'll stay here. <laughs> right, I'm going to go across the street. Right, come on. We can go. Oh my gosh, vile. Cool. Gee, I'm going to throw up that smell. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Anyway, it's uh, gone dark. So we're just walking down towards the falls now. So, oh my god, that smell. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what you could describe that as. That is just nasty. You know what? Every time I walk down here, I've never come down here. It's just one of the little side streets off uh, Clifton Hill here. It's going to cut through here. Oh, that smell again. Oh my God, it's sewage. 
that stuff smell it's sewage like raw sewage really bad just in that area now these lights that are shining here we can see them from uh, where we live so if you're down at cliff if you're down at crystal beach at night which is about 25 kilometers south you see it's illuminating the sky this is where the really bad karaoke is let's go and check it out okay we're gonna check out the bad karaoke come on let's go oh <coughs> Oh, that's enough of that. <laughs> that's quite painful. Now this is actually quite a nice view coming through here. Now it's dark, seeing it all lit up. So basically we're back where we started again. It's now uh, 9.15, gone dark. The moon is up and the uh, streets coming alive a lot more traffic than there was uh, 90 minutes ago <laughs> all right make our way down to the, uh, the falls and uh, get ready for the fireworks now the fireworks from what i know of uh run this year and probably the same motion is actually every weekend from Victoria Day up to I think it's Thanksgiving or it could be possibly Labor Day but during the main part of the summer which is July and August they're every night uh, but outside of that it's every Friday and Saturday I believe anyway I'll put a link in description for the uh, timetable for the fireworks Oh, that's better. Just changed the settings. It bumped the ISO up. And now you can see it. All right, just down by the uh, falls, as you can tell, behind me. And uh, a few more minutes, the uh, fireworks should be going off. And hopefully, it'll come out pretty good on the camera. So we'll soon see. Thanks. And uh, that is it. That was the fireworks at Niagara Falls. <laughs> the whole five minutes of it. It was alright, wasn't it? 
Oh, here I'm looking yeah, at. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm using it as a light. We use it as a light. Hi, yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. We're, using it as light. Oh, yeah. we're pretending to be tourists for the day. Yeah, we're pretending to be poorest. Poorest? Tourist. Tourist. Yeah, actually. <laughs> everyone just runs across quick as you can for you get run over screw it we're going for it everyone run <laughs> look at that it's like a zoo This building here is now abandoned. Was was formerly Planet Hollywood. It's abandoned. It's abandoned. Woo. All right, that is it for another video. Slightly different. It was nice to get back in Niagara Falls again, have a walk around, show you a few of the sites, and. Uh, in the next week or two, I'll bring you some more videos because we're going to be taking some of the attractions and going on them, like the tunnel, uh, the rapids and things like that. So stay tuned for some more videos coming very soon on Niagara. And also, we'll get back out on Lake Erie very, very soon and get some more Sea-Doo vlogs on the way.